Let's write a function to find the most significant bit using binary search. I'll declare a function called function find most significant bit. For the input, we'll pass in a uint256. So I'll type uint and then name it x. The input x will be the number that we're going to find the most significant bit for. This function will be external and it will be peer. To find the most significant bit, we're looking for the position of the leftmost bit. For UN256, there are 256 positions, so the biggest position will be at 255, and this can be represented in UNT8. UNT8 can represent any number from 0 to 255. So we will type returns UNT8, and I'll name this variable R. As you saw in the video about the algorithm, the first thing that we'll need to do is ask the question, is x greater than the middle number? For UNT256, there are 256 bits, so the middle number will be half of that at 2 to the 128. So we'll ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 128? For the next iteration, we'll ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 64? In the next one, we'll ask the question, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 32? The next will be 2 to the 16. And for the next one, we divide 16 by 2. So this will be x greater than or equal to 2 to the 8. Next one will be x greater than or equal to 2 to the 4. x greater than or equal to 2 to the 2. And the last case will be, is x greater than or equal to 2 to the 1. Okay, so these are the if conditions that we'll need to write. Let's start with if x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 128. So first we'll say if x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 128. Recall that in the video about the algorithm, when x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 128, the first thing that we did was shift this number over by 128 over to the right. So we'll do that by typing x greater than greater than equals 128. This will shift x by 128 over to the right and then reassign that value to the variable x. Since we shifted, we'll keep a count by saying r incremented by 128. And we do the same for the case for 2 to the 64. If x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 64, we'll say shifted by 64 and then to r at 64. And then I'll do the same for 2 to the 32. If x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 32, shift it over to the right by 32 and increment the shift count by 32. We continue this process all the way down until the base case of x greater than or equal to 2 to the 1. Okay, so I wrote all the if condition except for the base case of when x is greater than or equal to 2 to the 1. Recall that from the video about the algorithm, for the base case, we didn't have to do any shifting of the bits. The only thing that we did was increment total shift by one. So we'll do that here. If x is greater than or equal to two to the one is simply two, then we don't shift the x by one. Instead, we just increment the counter r by one. And that completes the function for finding the most significant bit using binary search. Let's compile this contract and call this function with some numbers. So I'll hit Control S to compile a contract, and then I'll deploy it, scroll down, and then open the contract. Okay, so let's see some examples. I know that the number eight is equal to two to three, so if you put in eight here, then the most significant bit that we will get back should be three, and it is equal to three. How about nine? Nine is eight plus one, so the most significant bit should still be equal to three, and it is. Let's give it another try. How about 16? 16 is equal to 2 to the 4. So if you call find most significant bit, this should return 4. How about 1 less than 16? 15. This should return 3. And it does.